I have trouble with this chapter. Uh, I haven't been able to process everything about it. So uh, we, we can see like what's, uh, what's Predica point of view, but I, because it's just three of us, we can take times and try like to understand the most of it. Um, also on this chapter, I discussed it with um, Joshua. I don't know if you know him, is the maintainer of the SFD, the SFD package an implementation uh, into uh, the, I mean, the tidyverse version of the SDEP. And uh, I asked him like, because like uh, we will use SDEP a bit, uh, STDEP, the package um, for like uh, matrices and stuff like neighboring wood. This is the, uh, and uh, there is stuff like I didn't, uh, I mean, I think we can simplify some codes also. That's, uh, are overly complicated, <laughs> but we'll see. That's why I spend a bit of time like, why are we doing that? Uh, but yeah, it was, um, uh, so yeah, I haven't been able to process all the chapter and understand everything, but yeah, we can we can take our time. And if we are not able to complete it today, I mean, depend of what, uh, of maybe Frederica understand everything and, and could explain it, but uh, <laughs> I have a lot of I have a lot of question uh, on this on this and I haven't I found a lot so maybe uh, we can share screen and try to to do stuff uh, yeah. to to do better that's my point yeah. of view but yeah 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 let's start let's start uh, oh, me do, do uh, before I start you have able to install everything and everything is working yes sir okay. Because if not, I can open you like uh, an account on my crappy servers and you can <laughs> use it. By the way, I learned a cool fact that maybe you do not know, but uh, as you see, like it's it's my IP address with the 8787 port, which is like the, <clears throat> the port from uh, Air Studio servers and the shiny servers is the reverse. So if you, if you use the shiny servers, it's 70, uh, 70, no, it's uh, Chinese like um, 78, 78. So I was like, oh, they use the same numbers, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> no. That's so okay. So I haven't understood everything yeah. in this chapter and the last three um, code snippets didn't work. So uh, luckily I had the server, so I've been able to, to run the ILA function and everything, all the other things. I had to install uh, Bioc Manager and uh, the R um, uh, for, uh, graphic bits. I'll grab this. Uh, yeah, I'll grab. Okay, let's see. Because I just uh, added special AP also. Uh, and special APA, AP. Yeah. Uh, I, I think like uh, maybe I will, uh, if you update, I don't know, uh, will you push the notes into the Git? Maybe you, I will maybe, maybe at once, like I will just add at the beginning of the chapter all the packages that are needed and how to install them. Let's yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you, because I've already, um, uh, set the nodes and modify the description with this uh, extra packages that I have. So Super. if you modify them, then they get. Uh, yeah, yeah, because like if others are reading it, like it will, I think it will help them. Like I kind of understand the points, like the point of the author that's loading the package, uh, because you know, she's loading the package uh, when she needs it. You know, she's not loading it. You know, for example, if you take other books, usually they say like load all of this package. And that's it. No, she's just loading the package uh, when she needs it. But sometimes it makes stuff a bit complicated, I feel. I don't know yeah. the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fact, in fact, I did it. Uh, uh, I put it on, uh, on top of the, the notes or the, the library that I use in the, in the chapter. And then when a particular function is called, I will use the namespace. Uh, mm. syntax like the name of the package colon, colon yeah yeah it's okay so um, yeah 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 
let, let's um, go through the chapter and then I may have some questions as well because it's yeah. quite an intense chapter. As, as you said, we might not be able to, yeah, I, to end if, if we want to go through everything. I, I will but be, if uh, we skip somehow, things, I will yeah, be we like on the team that we should maybe spend two weeks on it. And I could okay. like uh, depend depend of how far we go and uh, but I, I definitely can see like uh, we should spend time uh, with example to understand it fully. What okay. I, I will yeah, I'll wrap me like feel free also like to give your point of view on that. I agree. We should spend more time so that we understand each other. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. So this chapter is about aerial data, and we are going to understand. And learn a bit more about aerial data, how to work with aerial data, how to compute neighborhood matrices, expected counts, and uh, the DCR index, how to fit the spatial and spatial temporal uh, disease risk models using uh, in Uh I'm already going too far. <laughs> so let, let's see. Uh, what so this is not exactly an introduction, it's just a, a bit of like uh, the, the, yeah. bit, uh, the, the first paragraph, and I'll, I'll put it like this. So, here we, um, we are going to look at the number of cancer cases within counties, uh, and but yeah, but in general, in general, aerial data are of this type, so the number of cancer cases, the number of road accidents, the proportion of people living, for example, in poverty, in census tract. So these are the type of data that are defined as aerial data. Okay, and even here that I, I will need to stop and expand a bit more <laughs> about this to, to just to, to um, highlight the difference. Because here you have the number of cases of something in a particular area. Okay. Yeah. So the area, yeah. Yes. In my notes, I, I write it like uh, aerial data, like we are still in the fixed domain. So, so like, uh, okay. for example, in this case, if, if we use the same uh, uh, vocabulary that she has used before uh, on the first chapters, we are like, let's say we are in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a fixed domain. And this fixed domain is divided in a finite numbers of uh, areas that are the counties. I wrote it like that. But yeah, I think it makes sense what you said. A finite number of regions. This is. So, uh, yeah. So basically, we look, we look at an area. Yeah. So basically, we look at a, a specific area. And yeah. then we count the number of uh, things that happen in that area. So the area sits it as the domain. It's okay. So, um, and what we do is um, measuring uh, the decision in this chapter. Uh, so with this. Um, we're calculating the standardized incidence ratio, the CIRF uh, ratio, so which is defined as the ratio of the observed to the expected counts. Okay. And then uh, an alternative is the uh, this um, ratio is not like telling you enough about um, these cases on the area, you might want to try a Bayesian hierarchical model. This would be helpful uh, under some limitation of the standardized incidence ratio, okay, that it might have. Okay. Um, the model that we are going to use is a spatial model uh, named uh, BSAT. York Molly from uh, so from this creator so BYM 
Usually I thought, uh, think uh, about that as a Bayesian model, because BY, um, it's a sort of uh, a Bayesian model, but, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's from, the name is from its creator, which is Lisa. Lisa, yeah? Yeah, this type of model, this type of model, what does is taking consideration of the autocorrelation in terms of spatial and, and temporal structure. Okay. So, uh, both oh, temporal spatial structures are used um, uh, and considered as autocorrelated. So it, it, it takes consideration of this thing. And uh, also, can you, is, is that fine now? Uh, he's stuck. Is it okay? The sound is not clear. It's not me. My, my sound is not clear. Yes. Okay. Let's try to switch on, on this one. But um, Oliver is stuck. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Better? Is that better? Yes, it's perfect now. Okay, great. He's gone. So we wait for for him to come back. Okay. Uh, I'm back. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you have said it, but I think this model, Bisak York Morier, and uh, is part of what we call a conditional auto uh, regressive. Model. Uh, we have to, I mean, I'm, I'm just, uh, just to help us like understand a bit later, like, um, yeah, this is, yeah, yeah. This is CRR model. I'm, I'm talking about that later. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, okay, so basically, but the, the, the main two points are that it takes consideration of autocorrelation uh, temporal and spatial structures and uh, uh, spatial random the makes spatial random effect okay we see we see the, the formulation and think about how, how what's happened uh, within this model so the day in Sylvania counties in USA and this is from the spatial AP package Okay, here are the, the library that I used. Yeah. yeah. And cool see, yes, co-plot at the end because he put uh, three plots together and did oh, okay. a lead with co-plot. It's to make the uh, three plots uh, visually in, in one plot. Okay, yeah. so Okay, so um, we know that um, when we make a special this weight, something that we don't have, we, we talked about that uh, previously in, uh, in, um, yeah. uh, in the other chapter, no? So this uh, uh, W um, is a matrix. This one here is the weight matrix. So basically, uh, as a certain weight, okay, that we project on the area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So basically, this is called the proximity matrix because we are not, maybe we're not exactly sure that that happened on that very exact point, but we, we go around that. 
okay? So, and or, or, or it's even called the inverse distance between area areas. Mm. So let's let's uh, um, imagine that we got a certain number of elements. Uh, that we got I that goes from one to n, and J that goes from one to m. Yeah. They can they can even be equals. So n can be equal to m under some conditions. But let let's just think about that they are different. Um, so we we construct a matrix with all this information and um, they may uh, have two extremes uh, one of these values inside the matrix so these values can be one if i and j, and j share the same boundaries or zero otherwise uh, we, we will go back uh, more on this thing. So sometimes we need to use a standardized matrix. Okay. And this is, uh, are still the weights, but they are adjusted for the, no the total mm. number of neighborhood in the in each area. Okay. Okay. Got it. So uh, sometimes we can instead of the, the regular case. Uh, okay, the first the first uh, the things that we see this uh, this is the location the area that we are looking at uh, for, for the lung cancer. This is uh, obviously Pennsylvania counties in the USA. And the data are from Spatial AP, and um, this, uh, uh, these are the data, uh, Penn, Pennsylvania, lung cancer. And if you, this is an R6 plus, so if you do this dollar sign, you'll see that inside this data, there are other data. So, if you do this dollar sign polygons, you able to uh, extract the polygons. Otherwise, you have the data. Otherwise, you, let, let's let's see this uh, uh, here. Okay, I have my uh, and um, this is my um, the uh, pen. Okay, if I do dollar sign. Okay, yeah. yeah you can see you have different things inside. Uh, in, in here we use the polygon. These are all data, and this is the polygon. So if we use the polygon, if we use the, the polygon, this uh, it's an an element of um, so that can be. Uh, so to make them okay. So there are some uh, as you can see uh, the the area um, and some uh, like chords. The longitude and latitude, and others. Okay. So, yeah. so if we do this, we see why it doesn't. Yeah, if, if it's, it could be like, uh, I encourage uh, people like, so, to uh, just. As you can see, it, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's easier if you uh, investigate the structure. Like if you do structure of a pen, uh, like what you have done, you will see like it's a list containing lists. And uh, <clears throat> for every basically counties, you will get like um, uh, the, an object that will contain every vertex. Oh, we lose, uh, we lose. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I will, I, will, I will maybe do it. I will share my screen the time that you come back. So, okay. Uh, let's. Share it, share it. 
so we can like investigate it a bit together. Uh, where is it here? <clears throat> so I have I have already loaded it, so we can just uh, I will increase the. I will just go more into the console. Ofredek, are you back? Hello. Hello. Okay, so I will just. So if you are back, I will uh, stop sharing my stream. But yeah, I was like going. I can do it like quickly. Like if you do structures of then um, NLC, that will be maybe a bit. So you have like a, a complex objects that have like maybe I should have just asked for two of uh, for. I will do that like. If you do level two, I think if I remember correctly, levels. Yeah, no level equal to. You can just ask. Does it works? Or do I remember badly? No, it doesn't change. So it wasn't probably level two, but like it's a list objects that contain a lot of uh, sub lists. And if we take just one of them, like the polygon one, mm -hmm. uh, it's contained like uh, for every polygon, uh, it will contain, uh, it have like, oh, should I, let's go for one. Let's sub subset it for one more. So it's a list. So we have, if I remember correctly. Oh no, maybe just like that. Well, oh, it's okay. a bit less. So here we have just uh, one object mm -hmm. that's containing the area. Uh, it's it's it was the world way of storing like information, but it's it's good to to check it. I will. So you have the area of each car. Yeah, you, you save a lot. Possible. You save a lot of meta, uh, other information. Like uh, this is one polygon. Just I have just subsetted one. I don't remember which one. We can plot it. For example, let's do that first. It's good. Like we, I think it's good. Like we spend a bit of time doing it, so it will make stuff a bit easier. Oh no, it didn't work yet. So I felt something. But let's yeah, go. Uh, you, need to, you need to make the the pane, the plot pane, uh, be, uh, open up, clear the plot window. The plot window. Yes. Oh, figure imagine we're too large. Plot window. Yes. Let's do that. Like that? No, no, no. no. no to just no. increase the plot window a little bit. Oh, plot just new. The window. Oh. The window. The, in the in our in the environment here yeah. in, the, in the pain the pain here with its plot yeah yeah open it up I, I tried but my mouse is like uh. double click it on the bar on the top bar oh double you're click. so good with this uh, RStudio AI yeah <laughs> open it and, up and, and now call the function leave it leave it leave it like that the function will work now. now. Uh, okay. I want like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we see we have the polygon here. So that's good. But in fact, this is an object that contains way more information. It contains so it's it's a formal class. It's a polygon. It's not a line or points. Uh, it contains only uh, one polygon. Because why can it contain one polygon? Because sometimes you have polygon with all. You know. Let's say like you have like uh, a lake or um, let's say, for example, let's take the, the one of the common example is like, for example, a city around uh, water, the city like with a delta, you see, and it's uh, the city is just the inland and you have a lot of uh, maybe. How do you see that? How do you see that? No, we don't see that here, but oh. I feel that here it's, 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 um, you see, just have, oh, figure much. It just uh, have one ring. Mm -hmm. A ring is because we just have one polygon. But we could have been a hole, for example, uh, inside of it. Let's say, like for example, we have a sub county, a smaller county that just is contained inside of the this county of Pennsylvania, but is not part of this county. So we will have another ring to draw it inside of it. I do not have good example uh, here uh we should we should put it but yeah that's why we just have one polygon this is a list of one uh -huh. uh, but if we have and also this one all we do not have all here 
This is just like uh, uh, if 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 we have drawn like some uh, other uh, something inside of it, a hole, it will have been modified. It will be explained here. Do you, do you then, know? Sorry. Do you know why it starts from one from here from the middle bottom line? The, the which one? The one. This if, one. Now? If you see the 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 plot on on the left side, this one the uh, yeah. Yeah, on the left side. Yeah, you see that the number one is on yeah. the yeah. This is this one, yes. So, the, do you know why uh, the the why it orders the uh, the polygons this way? No. No, I don't think uh, it's. Uh, I don't think it, it was probably the way it was encoded. How? I do not think like uh, here it has some logic. Maybe it does, but I do not know. So the chords that are here are just the vertex vertices vertices chord. So uh, and they are linked. And usually they grow. If I if I'm not saying something bad, but I could be wrong, they go clockwise. Ah, okay. But could be wrong on that. You have other information like the B box. So this is like a square that contains uh, it. Like if we get the mine of x, the mine of y, the max of X and the max of Y. This is the B box, uh -huh. and uh, <clears throat> and it contain a, 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 a string, cross for strings that contain the the <clears throat> argument, like you presented on your chapter, and that's it. That that is a fairly complex object, <laughs> and we have more than one inside of this data. This was just like, you know, we just. We just like um, <clears throat> we just subsetted like the spatial polygon. We could have like inside of the same object special lines if it have lines. So we could have like special polygon, special line, special points, and then we have like what you. Well, maybe maybe it's better if I do this way. Yes. Yes. Maybe it's easier. What's the name of it? Then oh no, I should I will let let's assign it. So I have that in my environment. Set pen equal pen. See, uh, that probably works. No. Oh. <clears throat> so here yeah, it's a list of four. Like as you said, we have the spatial polygon that we just uh -huh. see, uh -huh. and then we have the data. This is what we have used. Mm -hmm. And we have other data, I think. This is data that will be used later, probably. You can add multiple data, and they are linked because, like, uh, <clears throat> I think this was by the orders. Uh, I don't remember how they, how they were linked. I have to probably here, like, I don't remember how they are linked. The, <clears throat> I think it's by orders. Or maybe, maybe linked by the counties. So if you see special polygon, does it have, like, no, let's see. Does it have a name? I do not think it have a name. I do not think it has a name. No, it has a name, ID here. So they are probably linked like that. You know, the ID is here. And it's probably the same ID that linked them here with the data. So this was a fairly complex way of doing a special analysis. <laughs> before the SF package and you have to understand every everything of that. So it's good like to check, but I, I you um you can you can like if you just want the data for example you can like say like uh details then just like typing uh data and that that's it you get you get just like the the objects here that are generated. And here for each county, we have the number of case by race, by genders, and by age categories. Mm -hmm. That's it. So you have like for the Adam County, you have 16 uh, row, if, I, if I'm correct. Let's check. Yeah, 16. <clears throat> because it's race, I think it's as a white or not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, gender is male, female, and age. I think it's four categories. Or maybe no. Probably more. Well, you will see letters. 
uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe we spend a bit too much time on that, but now you can. It may be clear. I don't know. Do you think? So I will I will stop sharing and you go back, Frederica. Yeah. Uh, I do not mind if we spend time on that, Mike. Because this is complicated. Okay. Mm. So the so having, having uh, see our, the visualization that we are going to uh, the area that we are going to look at, um, we uh, basically use this function, and this is poly two, and b for neighborhood. Yeah. Our, as a, yeah, the uh, polygon to neighborhood. And this is from the SP depth the, uh, earlier said. And uh, if we do the uh, uh, map, uh, which is the area, we can see that there's some uh, like information. Uh, and this is the, is the result of the polynomial that has been uh, like, uh, for example, if I do instead of add, okay, I do plot uh, and do and B. Yeah, you do not have, uh, and B is just a list of lists of number of indexes. I don't know, but because if I understand correctly, I didn't run that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do not have code now. You know, NB is just a list of uh, indexes, a list of links, by the oh. way. If okay. you do, uh, yeah, good, good idea. It's NB. Yeah, it's a, so it's a special class. Interesting. I didn't know that. <clears throat> NB class is an NB class. Okay. So we use this um, to um, basically um, we see that if we uh, that, that's going uh, is it? Oh, chat. Okay, this is the chat. Yes. Yeah, a big chapter. Okay. So are you on the, the map? Yeah, but um I still need to talk about these things. So yeah. okay. And um I think I'm not I'm still here. Okay. Yeah, you're here. Yeah, yeah. So basically, this shows the neighborhood of specific country counties in Pennsylvania using a map we, we show. Okay. So this is special. We create a special polygons data frame object of the map of Pennsylvania data. And um, this is what we are doing here. Yeah. Okay. This one. We can obtain the neighborhoods of each county of the map by using this poly, this function, poly to neighbor. And this function returns a neighbor's list and B. So this is a neighbor's list based on counties with contiguous boundaries. Yeah. So each element of the list represents one county. So each element means one of these. This is two, this is three, this is four. This one here, for example, the third element uh, rep represents one county and contains the indices of its neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. So let, let's go back. If, if, we, if we take the one, for example, this is the one that I displayed, it, the Adam County, I think. Yeah. And uh, we see it was a border country, if you remember, on my uh, on the uh -huh. graphic. Yeah. And uh, and if you check, like if you go down a bit, like uh, to the map, uh, the, the ggplot map, we can count them. Oh, it's it. I think it was this one. See the one like uh, the the small elephant. I will call it the small elephant. <laughs> on the on your 
the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the bottom one from the left. But yeah, yeah, if you just the map on the, the book, you can take it. But which one? Uh, this one, for example. Yeah, the one you have like. Okay. See, you, you go, you start from the left and you count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is the small elephant. I will call it the small elephant. Okay. See, this is the, and it has just three uh, neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you so, can see that later. Anyway. Yeah. So basically, what we do now, we don't use that uh, neighbor uh, list. No, we use it to index letters. Uh, okay. So will, now so we, we use it here. Yeah. Basically, what we do now is construct a data frame mm -hmm. with the, the county uh, from uh, the, the names of the map. Yeah. And then uh, the neighbor, which uh, is uh, the number of, of uh, polygons in the map. Okay, and so we can set a, a spatial polygon data frame, adding this information. And this function, this function here, it's an, uh, a particular function which creates object of class spatial polygons or spatial polygon data frame. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And if you set the match equal ID. Yeah, match equal ID. Yeah. I, I think it's do a merge, but I'm not sure. Like I have to take notes about it. Let me read what I've written. Yeah, do I have write it on the same? And no. the variable ID with the ID of what are you? Uh, are you can, very? You can, even, you can even see. So map, we know what uh, yeah. how it's like, and then D is what we created. Okay, and D is this one here. So no, no, you, you you modified it. <laughs> it's a it's a new D. It's I not the, the D from the. Okay. You have to rerun it, I think. This is D. Uh, in my opinion, you can simplify it. Like you do not need to replicate the zero. You can just assume zero and R will replicate it. No? Okay. What do you think? But like this, this, uh, this neighborhood. Yeah. Is it's all zero. It's always zero, but they, you, you'd like. Um, Set a column that then you can use. Yeah, can't, can't you just use zero and R will uh, replicate it? I think you can. Like if you remove the rep and just use zero, it will produce the same results. Let's try it. Okay. Do that sometime. In my oh, yeah. data. Then I modify it. I, I so basically, uh, okay, so this is our new D after running this. Oh, not run it. So after, after running this, this is new D, uh, which is now matching the county ID. Yeah. And have the the things. He didn't run the. It's not correct. I think. Uh, maybe check. We do. We should have one. No. What's happening? It doesn't work probably. Eh? What happens here? Oh yeah. Okay. Where are the one? Maybe farther, no? Farther in the table. I mean, let, oh yeah, because D, D is not, this is maps that have been modified. Mm -hmm. We just, 
you just create a new uh, name. Yeah, yeah, it's map. And if you check map, see, now it's work. You have the neighborhood. Okay. These are the yeah. So steps. So the spatial polygons using made of polygons. Okay, and D, which is a data frame that contains the county IDs and a vector, an empty vector. That yeah. Basically, we just added a, a new column on the special data frame that was zero for everyone. Uh -huh. This is what and we then, have done. Like. Yeah. And then assign yeah. U, C, and B that we have just made. Yeah. Uh, the second uh, uh, polygon. Yeah. Yeah. So this information. Inside, uh, inside this uh, uh, new spatial polygons data frame in the neighbor uh, yeah. vector, we search for this index yeah. and assign one. That's so, it. This is that, how I understand it. Yeah. So we have that, a bunch of zero, and then we, we, we change some zero for one if, it, if, the, if like the index match true in the assignments. Mm -hmm. I think this is how I understand it, but yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so then um, we, we want to add the, the coordinates, so the long, longitude and the latitude. And to do that, we use the coordinates function. And this is, uh, from, this SP. is from SP. Mm. Uh, and you can use it on, so now our map, it's class now. Yeah, it's 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 super it's super difficult to do live coding. Okay, yes. map is now um, an SP polygon data frame. If if you use a um, um, SP uh, type inside coordinates, you can retrieve the coordinates. So now, if I do that, you can see that you have all the IDs uh, and the longitude and the latitude. And then to, to uh, specify, you name it. Okay, so you create a new vector. So this way, you create. This is your map. I, I assume it's a centroid, but I'm not sure. Mm. Because it's polygon, it should have it. it have more than one coordinate, but uh, no. This was my assumption. No, because the uh, the centroid is just one for yeah. each ID. This is oh that that so do you mean then coordinate map can, can okay let me try it also on my tag. Okay. The centroid is the, the center of the polygon, and this yeah, is, that's... this is calling the coordinates. So. Is doing nothing. You go in the polygons. Okay. Yeah, but you so just like if you tap cards, you just have two points uh, per uh, counties. Ah, okay, okay. One, uh, two points. So one point. So they are the. If you just go card. Yeah. So I, that's why I think, but I could be wrong. Yeah, the the. Well, I, I do not understand this state, but. Okay, okay. No, I didn't. I, I haven't. I haven't even had a look because there is a set uh, st uh, centroid. Uh, I don't know. For, as a function to make the maybe maybe because this one. Uh, how does it do? Because on map. I have a special. Yeah. It's a special polygon data frame. Okay. Yeah. So here I have nothing, and that's that's, that's right. I will, I will, I will help her coordinate. But here, inside here, I have a box which delimits the uh, entire uh, area, and um, then I can extrapolate uh, the goals 
And so as you can see, the gods are uh, like the centroid. I think I'm, I'm not sure like it's it's unclear. I just asked it like the help of the coordinate function. And no, as, as, as you can see. Well, anyway, this uh, yeah, uh, has done all the, the thing. But anyway, let, let's go forward and we understand. Yeah, a bit. Sorry to interrupt you all the time. Uh, okay, so basically what's happened is that Back to me, maybe I'm dead another time. And the ID. I'm gone yeah. again. But anyway, so now our map is this way. So the, uh, to, to make the ID, uh, he uses this uh, this way, which is um, again, uh, oh, yeah. something that you can use with a, a SP class. With an SP class, you can use this at function um, to, to extrapolate data. So yeah. now th this is our new map and it's made of the counties, ID and as a row names, the neighbors. So when is uh, its neighbor yes or not, basically. And apparently the centroids of each country, yeah. county, and the ID. So just a, a number that, that goes, a vector of numbers uh, that goes from one to- uh, 67. Yeah, 67. And to, you know, mm. to do that, so they did it this um, uh, dim. Yeah, dimension. Yeah, okay. So you get map, the- If you do map and hat, you have data, yeah. polygons, plot order, the box. You have the box. Box will just give you a matrices of X min or X max, and Y min and Y max. And the project string as well. Yeah, this will be like the. Yeah. Okay. We just know it's that long. <laughs> So then, then we can use this function. It is a spatial um, uh, or uh, as a simple feature. Okay, spatial data as simple feature. Uh, so basically, we transform our map using this function in a way that um, we obtain simple features. Okay. Basically, our data frame, our special polygon data frame, is now a simple feature collection of features and fields. And uh, then, when you plot it, you can just use geom sf, geom simple feature, and you you don't need to call anything else. So this is all a, an addition. So basically, you can just do like ggplot and uh, this map simple feature that we just created with SD as SF and then geom SF. And you already do, uh, you, you already can make um, the map. Okay? You don't need to do anything else. But then you want to fill it with the neighborhoods and then add some text and things. Okay. I lose you. Maybe it's me. Uh, what is the shortcut to comment? To? What, what's the shortcut to comment the line? Uh, yeah, you uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just said uh, Alt. Uh, then you do the, uh, you, you, you put the, co the cursor on uh, yeah. what you want. Then you click on Alt and scroll down the cursor and comment and, and then and then you add what, what you, you you can yeah. even write things oh cool and do, uh, 
spaces and, and reverse. So cancel everything or add things. Yeah. Perfect. Um, hold on. Or Thank you. <laughs> So, okay, so now is the, the, the interesting part. Basically, what, what, are, what we talk about at the introduction, mm -hmm. no? and, and we said, okay, we said we can do uh, for measuring uh, a disease risk in a particular area. We can do a standardized instance ratio, or if we are not satisfied and want to investigate a bit more or attempt an estimation, we can use a Bayesian hierarchical model. So what we are doing now is using a standardized instance ratio. This is If you do like delete cancer data, you find a vector inside the data which contains already the um, expected counts. So this data in the in the special API package are used to for, for educational purposes to make practice, and you have different things to look at. So in this case, we calculate. Okay the uh, expected counts and this uh, expected count oops That's right. uh, and these expected counts are exactly for um it will that wait a okay. bit so catch up. for calculating um the the standard index okay the the and uh, as I said, the expected counts or uh, expected total number of cases are uh, a sum of the, the rate, so the number of cases divided by the population and the population. Then you can have a, a global uh, C rate, uh, C ratio. Uh, to specific counties okay so like for counties the the ratio and then uh, so you, you can go more specific so in general uh, the ratio uh, the c ratio it can be if it mm -hmm. is higher than the expected in the area <coughs> equal or lower yeah yep okay so um, condition we can apply this radio uh, which is very similar to data in that case there is called the standardized mortality radio quite similar so you have data uh, so what's happened here now we need to this this are our uh, it's our data okay mm. so what we do uh, maybe i don't even like it like that so we do group by county okay and then we summarize um, with a new vector the sum of cases Okay, now I have the counties, and this is our y. And uh, it's basically the total number of cases. What I did it is just grouping by county. And uh, you can see this one here is the y. Mm. Because the, the C ratio is uh, basically uh, calculated with the number of cases in each area divided by the expected counts. And the special every provides a nice function, which is the expected function that allows you to calculate the expected numbers. Okay, so basically, this um, uh, need to the, these um, values need to be ordered because otherwise they they're not uh, 
um, they, they may be misleading. Okay, so you need to order them by county, race, gender, and age. All the information that you got in the data. Okay, I've, I've got this data. Uh, uh, I group it uh, by county and I obtain the numbers of cases, for example, in Adams. But then, uh, before to calculate the expected numbers, the expected value, I need to order. So I need to order by county and this order by like uh, alphabetical order. And then by race, again, alphabetical order. And then uh, uh, by gender and by age. So that's, it's all ordered. I, I do not understand this, this step. Uh, but... Yeah, the, the I mean, I, I understand. I understand like the what we are doing, but I do not understand what the purpose of it. Yeah, uh, basically it says that we um, create. Um, it's lower, lower. You are in the neighborhood. You need to okay. go like to the uh, SIR oh. part. <clears throat> oh, I, I was reading. <laughs> no. I... Hmm. Uh, no, this is this is not okay. So basically, he said that the vectors and cases need to be sorted by area first, and then within each area by the counts for straight. Uh, oh, it need to be in the same orders. Okay. Yeah. So every 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 because like maybe in some data you could have like you know for whatever reason the order could be different. You know, it was like encoded that someone started with like, uh, let's say, uh, male first, then female first, and another country, it was uh, a county, sorry, it was reversed. So by doing that, we are sure like in every county, we follow the same rules, I think. Hello. Hello, I'm already. Yeah, we lost you, and then we you went back. I, I heard you. Maybe it's me. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So this is the the interesting function, and uh, if we have a look at the function. Perfect. It computes is the expected number of disease. Uh, basically, um, uh, computed internally, indirect, standardized expected number of. Um, okay, it doesn't give much explanation, but yes, uh, I tried to reproduce it by the formula and I failed. Uh, okay. You know, you it's know. a. So if I, if maybe 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 I, I misunderstood it, but like. Uh, it's a, so it's basically like the the total number of the population. Let me write my I write it, but uh, yeah. I have write it that it's the uh, so we need we need to calculate the the sum the total sum of population. Then we need to calculate the rate, which is the sum of case divided by the total sum of population. And then we calculate <clears throat> the, and then we multiply the rate by the population of each county. Mm -hmm. This is how I understood it, no? Yeah, basically, um, the, the, there is an um, uh, uh, expanded explanation about how to calculate uh, the expected. Uh, oh, I will check uh, that. Yeah, but it, this is not mentioned in the chapter, so it okay. gives like like uh, as a, a given, uh, and you I will might try find, by myself later. <laughs> yeah, you might find uh, it, it like easy to find other explanation about this uh, this thing, but mm -hmm. basically, uh, it's the expected count mm -hmm. uh, and what you obtain with this with this applying this function. Um, it's like an, um, the average value values of the number of cases 
disproportionate uh, on the population that you find in the um, uh, and so you use this function and then basically you obtain the expected counts that you can use and then to, to construct the index uh, the things that you do so let's run these things and uh, this is what uh, we have just obtained so like a vector uh, if we see what class is it uh, um, it's a mm -hmm. numeric so non it is it's just a vector unlisted vector and uh, we assign this vector to our d uh, data frame uh, we started uh, we just made with the counts and the dy so we add the expected values okay so we now we can see that we have the y and the e uh, and then we add the, ca the the calculation for for the c ratio okay so now we can see that we have a nice data frame with all the information this mm. is not the CIR model uh, the successful infected and the recovered because you, know, you can make even make with a uh, a CIR model for uh, calculating the um yeah yeah, the infections. And, and, and just to make it clear, like for example, if we check the Bradford counties, it have a CIR greater than one. So it means that we are more infected than what we're supposed to have. And if we go to the Adam county, it means like we have less affected than the expected, uh, that we expected. Exactly. Okay. Which is quick, uh, quick to calc, but uh, helpful. Uh, it's already, uh, we already like done one hour. Uh, I think we can come uh, next week, we can still uh, pursue these chapters. I will work a bit on myself on stuff and 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 we can pursue whatever like both of us as you like, Frederick. I can, I can like either pursue or you can like continue as, as you like. I don't mind. I will work on it. Uh, Okay. Because I think like I need to 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 be sure like to understand everything. Sorry Thank if it's you. a bit uh, like uh, I agree with you. Bothering, but uh, yes. Uh, but uh, I will also share a link like um, that I have like found helpful uh, that can be useful like for others. Like where is it? Stop On sharing. the chat, uh, which Zoom meeting? Uh, where is it here? Like on the neighborhood, like this. Um, you have an article. I will put it on the chat here. Where is the chat here? On the neighborhood mattresses and stuff like that. You probably have seen it. It is on the Air Spatial uh, blog, you know, like the the blog of uh, all the special activities. But yeah, I, I will I will move a bit the schedule. And next week, uh, we're going to go still the five. As a me on you, uh, I will prepare it. Uh, so we, we are good. Yeah. Alwa, Alwa Fimi, are you okay with that? Like, do you have some remark or question? I am okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank <laughs> you very much. I, I think it's important, like, to go like slowly into all of that. Yeah. And I will try. I will try also, like, uh, to do it without SP object because I think you do not need it. I think you can convert directly the SP object from Spatial AP, the Pennsylvania one, to an SF object and. And do everything uh, with uh, as a tidy or base R, but without bothering like uh, too much. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see that. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks everyone. Uh, we went slowly, but I think it's important. Uh, yeah, yeah. So because like it's not just understanding it; it's understanding how it's implemented. And Thank that's you. It. Yeah. Well, good job, Frederica. I'm sorry to have been like a pain and interrupt you all the time. I feel so bad. But uh, no, 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 no. You're right. I agree with you. I agree with you. And, and yeah. next week we'll do a lot of. I will try to set up nicely so we can see like what we are doing and and do live coding and and fail probably. But yeah. well, okay. okay. Thank you. Well, thanks Bye. a lot, everyone. Bye.